I'm going to show you a very easy way to take any Google slide deck that you have and to translate it into just about any language. So this is pretty simple, but you do have to have a Canva account as well. And if you're an educator, don't forget Canva gives you everything for free as long as you sign up for an educator account. So that's a win. If you don't have a Canva account, make sure you've signed up for one. All right, so here's all you have to do. You have your slide deck. I'm looking at this one about my um, superpowers of Google Slides, and it's all in English, and I want to translate it to a different language. All I need to do is go into Canva, sign in, and as long as you're using the education version, it's tied to your Gmail account, you're all set. Go to the left-hand side where it says Projects. Click on Projects. And then all the way to the right, you will see Add new. Click on the add new button and we're going to import from an app. Now make sure that you've signed in with your Google account and you've tied it to that. If not, you'll be prompted to make sure that your Google account is also um, granting access to Canva. So go ahead and do all that. It's totally safe. So if you get the prompts to say, do you want to allow Canva access? Just say yes and allow it everything that it needs. So I'm going to click import from app. And I'm going to choose Google Drive. And it's going to bring up a bunch of your folders and stuff. I'm just going to type in the name of it. Unlock. All right. So here I am. I'm just going to use this one right here. That's my slide deck. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to upload. So it's going to take just a moment. It's going to upload your slide deck into Canva. And if you want to scroll down, you'll see it, the progress going on right here. And there we go. So it may have taken a minute, but we're all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up that slide deck. So I've imported a slide deck from my Google Slides into Canva. Now it's a Canva slide deck, which to be honest, is just as cool. I mean, there's so much you can do with this. So right now I could just go ahead and share it and everything and use it just like a regular slide deck, but I wanted to translate it. So if I go over to this left-hand side over here and hover where it says apps, whoops, <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and hover where it says apps, this window will pop up. And if I scroll down, you'll see the one that says Translate. So I want to choose that. So once again, hover on Apps and go to Translate. When I click that, I'm going to have some choices. So what language do I want to translate this to? I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to choose, well, we'll just do what most of our teachers right now are having to translate into is Spanish. I'm going to leave my voice the same, but you can change how your voice comes across. Maybe you want it more professional. Maybe you want it friendly. I'm going to leave mine original. Your choices are translate the pages or just select text from a current page. Generally, we're doing this. We want to translate the entire slide deck. So what I'm going to do is translate the pages, and this little drop down is going to give me the choice of which pages I want to do. I'm going to do them all, so I'm going to select this box right up at the top. But maybe you only wanted a couple of the pages translated. You can choose which ones to translate. I'm going to hit done. Before I click the translate button, there's something you want to think about. So right now, if I were to translate it the way my settings are, not only will it translate every single slide, but it keeps the original. And maybe I want one in English and I want one in Spanish. If I go up here to the settings button, I have the choice. Um, I would leave this, sorry, reduced font size to fit so your text boxes don't get all blown up out of shape and stuff. I would leave that checked. But your choice is, do you want to duplicate the page when translating? I'm going to turn that off. And the reason is, I don't want this first slide that you can see unlocking the superpowers. One's in English, then one's in Spanish. Then another one's in English, then another one's in Spanish. I want this one, the entire thing, to be in Spanish. If you want one of each, and I'll do that to show you what it looks like, you can, but generally I would probably leave this off. I'll show you what happens when you leave it on. Um, so then you're all set. I'm gonna go back to translate and I'm ready. Now keep in mind, I toggled that button so we're gonna have a really big slide deck here in a minute. I'm gonna click the translate button 
This is when the magic will happen. There we go. Here's my slide deck. I've got one in English, one in Spanish. The next deck, in the next slide in English, then in Spanish. English, Spanish. So I did that because if you remember, I checked this little duplicate box. If I wouldn't have checked it, I would just have one slide of each. So now you've got your slide deck easily translated. You may have to do a little bit of customizing. You can see this one. I might want to shrink them down a little bit. It takes you just a couple seconds to go through and make sure everything still fits. Once that's done, you can download it and then re-upload it to your drive if you want to keep it as a Google slide, or just go ahead and use Canva, share it out that way, just like doing anything else in Canva, giving people access, um, do you want them to edit or view. So you have the choice to either share it through Canva or um, download it back into Google Slides. So if you wanted it back in your Google Drive account, you just click the share button, you click download, and then you would choose, instead of a PDF, a PowerPoint, it'll save to your computer, and then you just upload it to Drive, it converts, you're right back to where you were. You have one in English, one in Spanish. Or save yourself the time, share it right here through Canva. Just hit the share button, anyone with the link can view it, you don't want to edit, but can view, copy that link and share it. Super easy way to translate Google Slides.